The big story this week has to do with something we touched on last week, and it's all about what the heck is going on in this video. The video is in Russian, but translates to how to make a homunculus in English. The man in the video claims to have created a hideous living creature by following the instructions found in medieval books on alchemy. But is this video it's another big, fat, medieval fake? Or is it just for real? Why don't we get out our stethoscopes and see if we can find a pulse? As you might recall from last week's video, my research group, the Chewy Piranhas, became very interested in this video. To them, the video raises some very big questions. Namely, can a human make a hybrid creature with anything other than another human being? And if that's not possible, how did this guy fake it? It's a big job, but with my A-team on the case, we can get to the bottom of this puppy. To start, researcher Holmes Andreas volunteered to recreate the experiment from scratch. It's the best way to find out if it works or not. If it works for him, it should work for me. Now, while Andreas worked on his experiment, the rest of the group researched and debated the science of all this. On the one hand, I have pointed out it's not possible because humans and chickens have widely different chromosomes. But then Prom and Wojcik pointed out there are many examples of hybrid creatures with different chromosomes, like lives, a cross between a lion and a tiger, the zors, which is a cross between a horse and a zebra, and even mules, which are a cross between horses and donkeys. I agreed that there are examples of hybrids, but pointed out that those only exist within the same genus or family of animals. This is why we can see many examples of hybrid dogs, but we'll never see a hybrid between a cat and a cat dog because their genus or their animal family are too far apart. Ten days later, we still didn't have a clear consensus, so we turned our attention back to Andreas. Also Bill, ich habe alle Instruktionen genau befolgt und die, uh, oh, uh, sorry, you might want to hear it in English. Uh, of course, I followed all the instructions precisely. Now it's time to show the results. Let's see what happened. Andreas cracked open the egg. He poured the contents into the bowl. And what we saw with our own two eyes led us to this, the official answer. Now, you know I'm dying to tell you what's in here, but if you watch this series, you know I can't tell you what's in here until you tell me what's up there, okay? Now, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video. A third way to go is just to hit the vote button right up here. Okay, you ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm gonna show you what's in this envelope. I promise you that. But first, let's just take a real quick look at some of the other crazy stuff that came in this week. This picture first sent in by Click My Lips claims to show an alien sea creature caught off the coast of California. Now, Click, if you ever get one of these on the end of your fishing line, you don't have to call Area 51 about it. Experts at the Monterey Aquarium will be more than happy to tell you it's real and it's an albino swell shark. This picture sent in by Ali Hussein shows what claims to be a very unlucky parachutist landing in a pond lined with hungry looking crocodiles. Ali, the only place this guy really landed was on the pages of worth1000.com for a Photoshop contest. Here's the original picture without the parachutist. It was taken at a US crocodile farm in the state of Louisiana. And finally, we have this, some actual video that claims to show a young man having a dog face put over his own via plastic surgery in Brazil. No doubt there are a lot of people in this world that would love to put their favorite dog face on top of their own, but come on, do I need to say it? This thing is so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get back to the yolk of our video today and see what the official answer is for the homunculus 
video. Wow, this is a big one. All right, I'm gonna speed through this one a little bit. You ready? Okay, here we go. Here's a quote. The video that claims to show the creation of a hybrid human chicken creature has been fully examined. Thanks to the tireless research of the chewy piranhas and especially the flawless recreation of the experiment by Homza Andreas, we have a final decision. The video claiming to show a man creating what is popularly known as a homunculus has been determined to be a very surprising and unexpected, let's watch it. Look, there's nothing alive in here. Uh-oh, you know what that means. Oh man, people, it's a world of trickery out there, I'm telling you, a world of trickery. And that's why you gotta make sure you watch Real or Fake every week. So if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button so you can say you are keeping it real. That's all the time I have for this video this week. I wanna thank everybody for sending in all the great material we use this week. And I also wanna send a special thanks to the Chewy Piranhas and Andreas for helping me get to the bottom of this story. See you next time.